The progression of the suits against the Ghanaian Family Values Bill, also known as the Anti-Gay Bill, has faced another delay following hearing of the cases on Thursday. Continuous failure of lawyers of the Attorney General and that of Speaker of Parliament appear to be stalling the proceedings of the anti-LGBTQ suit at the Apex Court. My colleague Lord Idwasari reports. At the last agenda date, which was Thursday, October 17, the Supreme Court ordered lawyers of the Speaker of Parliament, as well as the Attorney General, to file processes they would rely on in the defense of the suit by broadcast journalist Richard Delaskai. This was to ensure swift adjudication after the judiciary had noted in a statement that the continuous delay of the case was as a result of parties failing to file documents. However, when the case was called on Thursday, October 31, Chief State Attorney Sylvia Adusu drew the court's attention that documents which ought to have been filed by the speaker's lawyers to enable them attach and file their statement of case had not been done. She prayed for an extension of time to be able to file the statement of case after resolving that waiting for the said documents would further drag the case. Lawyer for the speaker represented by Rafael Banaman failed to give reason for his inability to file his processes and did not oppose the application by the AG's lawyers. Paco Isu Abedu, representing Richard Delaskai, noted that despite countless assurances, lawyers of the Speaker of Parliament had failed to attach the opinion of his client. Justice Asari Dakung then granted the application by the AG's lawyers and ordered for them to file their statement of case in seven days. In the case of researcher Dr. Amanda Odoi, the same concerns were raised and hence the same orders were given to the Attorney General's lawyers. Broadcast journalist Richard Delaskai is challenging the constitutionality of the Ghanaian Family Values Bill with a suit. Dr. Amanda Ode, on the other hand, wants an injunction seeking to restrain the bill from being forwarded to President Akufuado for assent. Lord Idwasari, TV3 News, Accra.